ever since Python 3 was upgraded beyond version 3.9, no PyCurl wheel can be installed on Raspberry Pi 5 newest OS. As of the date of this recording, which is June 2024, the OS arrives with Python 3.11, basically incompatible with Coral Edge environment. This will of course change one day, however until then we will look for a temporary workaround solution. One of the solutions is to install one of the versions of Python 3.9, still compatible with the wheel, along with Python 3.11. So let us get to work then and have some fun! As you can see for yourself, when installing any Python wheels, the system expects compatibility with version 3.11. As usual, let us perform update and upgrade. You may notice that my Raspberry is a little bit more responsive than usual, and it is because it is running off from an NVMe solid-state drive in place of an SD card. That shouldn't make any difference though when it comes to installing another version of Python. In no time at all, we will be running our inference example on Raspberry Pi 5 with Coral Edge USB Accelerator. Let us first take a look again what exactly is required to perform an inference. When it comes to the supported hardware, Raspberry Pi 5 is not listed, only the version 4, but do not worry, we will make it work. Now take a look at the supported version of Python. No support beyond version 3.9 is made available by Google. I really do hope that this will change soon. But let us not complain and do whatever we can to have an inference performed on our newest Raspberry Pi 5. I have recently purchased the 4GB RAM version. Here comes the step number one, install the Edge TPU runtime. Just copy and paste these three lines into your Raspberry Pi 5 terminal, then install the standard runtime. Step number two, install the Pi Coral library. This is when things fail, unfortunately. We are simply trying to install an incompatible wheel. When you do try to install the alternative way, that is also failing. Why is that, you may ask? Only because our Python is 3.11. Let us do something about it then. I've prepared a list of bash commands for you that will take care of our problem. Namely, we will install version 3.9 along version 3.11. Since we have just updated and upgraded recently, we will simply skip this step. Let us install the prerequisites for building Python from source. Next, we will download the source code of the desired version of Python. Mm -hmm. 
and now extract this archive. All of that was super fast, wasn't it? But here comes the 20 to 30 minute break in your activity. The compilation and installation of Python 3.9.19. This will last a moment before it is actually done. For the sake of this video, I have accelerated this step. Now that you have had a quick nap, go ahead and configure the system to use the new version of Python. Can you see Python 3.9 on your screen? If you do, that is a great sign. Let us make sure that Raspberry Pi uses Python 3.9 and not 3.11 by default. Now select the default Python version by choosing the option with the 3.9 entry. In my case, I simply kept the current choice pre-selected by the star by pressing Enter to continue. Now comes the moment of truth. Check your version of Python. Now you should be able to see Python 3.9. Congratulations if you do! We are almost there, with a small surprise in just a second. And finally we will install pip corresponding to the new version of Python. Go ahead and verify that pip is correctly installed. By now we should be set, so let us get back to the Google website and redo the installation that didn't work with Python 3.11. Hopefully now PyCoral Wheel will install without issues. Oh bummer, same error. The installation still detects Python 3.11. However, I figured out a workaround for that issue as well. Execute the next line, the one reserved for Mac and Windows. Great, this seems to work. And no errors, it looks all good.
Step number three, run a model on the Edge DPU. We will perform our familiar image classification with a parrot. Go ahead and plug in your Coral HDPU USB accelerator into one of the blue USB ports on your Raspberry Pi 5. Copy and paste the next few lines into a terminal. And finally, run the image classifier with this command. There it works. Who said that you cannot use Raspberry Pi 5 with your USB accelerator? And if you are up for a challenge, go ahead and explore the other examples and have fun tinkering. Cheers! Mm -hmm.